What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Mom and Son Show. I'm the mom. And I'm the son, and today we're going to be talking about the brand new world of Frozen, along with our normal Freestyle Fridays of closures, ride closures, ride wait times, and just scrolling Twitter and seeing our opinions. And everybody, scaffolding. And scaffolding, because everybody cares. <laughs> let's go. Let's see what's going on. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. A lot of you are just watching, not subscribing. Do it now. Okay, let's get into it, Mom. Okay, let's talk about, first of all, let's talk about right now the ride times. times. Not the ride times, but the park times, park times of when they are open. Go. So, as of today, Magic Kingdom is 9 to 10. Yep. Hollywood Studios, 8.30 to 9. Epcot is 9 to 9. And Animal Kingdom is 8 to 7. Now, to keep in mind, if you're staying on property on a Disney World resort hotel you get in a half hour early and if you haven't done that yet you're crazy don't be the ones who show in show up five minutes before the end of your half hour that's a waste of that half hour amen to that amen to that and just because we know there's an uh what an hour early if you live at the hotel if half you're hour. staying at any park well, the only reason why we know that is because if you go over here to stats, you <laughs> scroll up to stats, you're going to see that dinosaur has already been temporarily interrupted. But the cool thing about Walt Disney World stats is it tells you how long it normally takes for an interruption to get back up. Correct. Correct. So this this post says, on average, an interruption takes about 22 minutes. So which is if, a long time. Which is a long time. But if that ever happens to you, like we were in the line for Ratatouille, it broke down on us. We should have checked mm -hmm. Walt Disney World stats. It would have told us about how long a temporary breakdown uh, is. And then you can gauge the rest of your day on, hey, it's probably going to take about 22 minutes. It's just more information to make a decision as far as what you're going to do next. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is a cool little, we'll get back to this, but uh, that's what we know about that. When we go down, we're talking about scaffolding, Mom. Oh. And Epcot is just throwing up more and more construction. It is so frustrating. So they're doing something to Canada, but uh, it's really just a refacing from what I understand. Um, but they are starting to take down some scaffolding in Epcot. Um, the Moana Journey to Water. They're that, starting yes. to remove a lot of that kind of stuff. And I'm going to say it. Um, they've already done water testing and you can hear the music and you can hear some um, sounds coming through it. So cross fingers, maybe it'll be opened earlier. So they take it down, they put, put it, it up, up they put it, it up, they keep putting it up. I mean, Epcot just needs to finish one thing and then move on, but they're starting so many projects. It, it almost. How long, how long do you think it's going to be until Epcot is it, completely it, open without scaffolding and, and walls? I think it's almost like I-4. And <laughs> if people know I-4 has never been completed however, and it never will be. However, if you go on I-4 at 11 o'clock at night, it's pretty cool. All right, where well. I think scaffolding's still going to be up at 11 o'clock <laughs> at night. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Um, going back to the stats, another cool thing is if you're going to the park that day, like for example, we're on Friday right now. If we're going to Hollywood Studios, it gives you estimated wait times. Mm -hmm. So for Star Wars Rise of Resistance, a 92-minute wait time. That is a very long time. An hour and a half, yeah. Uh, but it, it also shows you on the side the first shows, the show times. Mm -hmm. So for the first time in forever, the sing-along, 9.30 is the first show. And then uh, Beauty and the Beast live on stage at 10.30, I think it says. Or 10, 10 o'clock. You can't see that? Yeah, it says 10 o'clock. Oh. It looks like it's scratched <laughs> out a little bit right there. I don't know what's going on. Uh, but they expect Slinky Dog to be a 60-minute wait, which in my opinion, they're expecting it not to be too busy. Mm. Because for Slinky Dog to only be an hour wait for um, is, is not right. that bad. But Riser Resistance 92 is a joke. That's because at the first thing in the morning, Slinky Dog is probably 10 minutes when it opens. And then late at night... And then in the middle, oh, it's going to be two so hours. average it out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never know. You never know. <laughs> Numbers are numbers. You can do anything with stats. Absolutely. And then the very last thing, like we said, this is the first look from, I have to preference, Hong, Hong Kong. Kong Disneyland, uh, the world of Frozen. And we are showing, <clears throat> excuse me, we are showing you concepts of what some of the art is going to look like when you get inside uh, some of the rooms, some of the shows. Uh, this is definitely uh, one of the uh, dining halls that you're going to be able to do. Cool. And let me uh, let me move let me shrink us down here so you guys can actually see some of the artwork. Um, it is very very cool. 
I wish they would bring this. There's plenty of room in Norway and Epcot. But again, we were just talking about... Oh, look, is that a gift shop? That looks like a gift <laughs> shop. Uh, we were just talking about how much scaffolding they have up in Epcot. <laughs> Let's not put more. This would be scaffolding that I would want because this looks, this looks really cool. Really, really cool. Um, but... Like I said, guys, this is just a very quick episode. Yeah. Uh, for closures, what do we have? Just the uh, same old, same old. Same old, same old Splash Mountain. Yeah. Changing into Tiana's Bayou. And then, of course, Blizzard Beach is down. Yep. And but other that than we that, saw on the, everything uh, should be up and running. Um, hopefully, Dinosaur will be back up and running. And that was just a temporary. Yep. So, it could have been that the staff wasn't there yet. I don't know. Yeah. They, oh, know. yeah. Yeah. They, they slept in. <laughs> you don't know. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, mom joke of the day. Let's go, Mom. Okay. Why couldn't Friday lift the heavy weights at the gym? Why couldn't Friday lift the heavy... It's got to be like a play on like Saturday, Sunday, Monday or something like that. Because hmm. Friday's weekday. Friday's a weekday. Week. It's a weekday because he was weak. Wait, I screwed that oh, up. Oh, <laughs> no, guys. To see, this is what happens. Because it was a weekday. Get okay, it? Okay, so you didn't it screw it up. Yeah. You just got yeah. confused. Got confused. <laughs> you know, it's Friday. I got a lot going on. So. All right, guys. Know. Thanks so much for watching. The jokes will get better, I promise you. I well, promise you. Hopefully, well, it's been six months now. <laughs> if, if more of you like and subscribe, they will get better. We're just teasing you right now. <laughs> so. Have a great weekend. I'm the mom. <laughs> I'm the son, and this is the Mom and Son Show.